I'm absolutely on the side of any decent law-abiding Muslim, of which the vast majority are. But we cannot keep hiding of course. the reality which at all these attacks, without exception, are being carried out by radicalised young Muslims. And that is the problem this country is now facing. It's a problem for you, it's a problem for us, it's a problem with anyone with families, yes. and we have to somehow get to the brains of these murderous barbarians before they commit their atrocities and try and convince them of another way. My final question to you is this. In terms of how you do that, in terms of how we somehow realign the thought process of these radicalised young people who think the only way to advance the cause of their belief of Islam is to commit mass murder, what do you think the best way to do that is? I've just said, and I'll say it again, we need to, of course, educate our children, our families, but the first thing we need to do is create a new language. You've just used the wrong one yourself, Piers. You've talked about you and us. Why are you dividing us? We're together. We are British. We belong to this country. It's a problem for all of us. Whether they are Muslim, Christian, Jewish or Hindu or Sikh, if there is trouble, we need to deal with it together. Let's not blame the Muslims alone. We didn't blame the Christians for the IRA attacks. We didn't blame the Christians for the Ku Klux murders that well, we saw a long the, time no, ago. But hang on. The we, IRA, wait a minute. The IRA attacks were not being committed in the name of religion. This is the whole point. And we can again... I, 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 we can I, again... I can uh, one. Yeah, but there's no comparison because the IRA were not blowing things up in the name of religion. The people doing these acts are committing mass murder in what they claim to be the name of their religion. That is the particular problem that we're facing. And that is why when you say... You I, know, I hear you. It's not them and us. We're all British, I get that, but there are large sections, yes. I'm afraid, of the British Muslim community right now who, for whatever reason, feel so disenfranchised with the way this country is that they want to kill a mamus, and it has to stop. I agree. And uh, again, emotive word, large section of British Muslim community. You're giving a huge description of a community of three million here. Large, what is the number of large? I believe vast majority of us are very concerned. In fact, as anyone that I've met are very concerned about what's going on in this country. Would you believe when we heard the incident, we, I was in the mosque, I was praying, and there were thousands of other people in this country praying, and in our mosque congregation, everybody's breath, we stopped breathing aghast in horror, in shock. Oh, my God, not another attack. So we feel the same way. So to deal with it is to create that inclusive narrative, just like I've been saying from the beginning, to say we can deal with it. Yes, you're right. How do we re-educate our kids? How do we re-educate everybody? Any extremism should be rooted out from our society. We need to tackle them from our narrative creators, from our media pundits to our politicians to our ordinary people. We need to create more harmonious working relationship. It's not happening. Our integration is not taking place enough. Okay. There is an expectation that ethnic minorities, in quote, unquote, would integrate. But that's not how integration works. Integration is a two-way street. I'm going to speak my mind, and I'm going to speak from the pulpit as loud as I can. This is my home. British people are my people. And I will do everything possible to make sure my country and my people are safe. And anyone who doesn't like Britain, do me a favor. Return your passport and leave. Okay. We've been wow. saying this Imam. for a long time. Imam. Those nutters, Pierce, those nutters who don't like us, we have a clear message for them. You don't belong here. Imam, uh, Ajmal, Mazro, I like those words. Uh, keep Powerful doing message. your good work. Spread that message. Any, any help you need to help do this, let us know. We're all on this together, but we appreciate your candour. Thank you.